Hey guys, I wanted to share with you um, the process that I sort of discovered the uh, earlier today. Uh, part of it was inspired by a video I came across um, uh, uh, that was related with this, uh, I think it's IWS, uh, IWS 3220M, that was a bit long um and not 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 particularly helpful so i'm gonna try to be a little bit a little bit briefer and a little bit helpfuler <laughs> so what i'm dealing with is a ridiculously tiny tiny terminal so small um and it has a a unique property that makes it exceptionally difficult that being give me one sec here I'll draw you a picture the terminal is uh, it's shaped like doo -doo 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 -doo, like this it's a pin really so it's got its pin part and then it has a, a little tab that sticks up like this then it has the part that crimps the wire. Then it has the parts that crimp the um, insulation. Normally, if you put with these things, when you put them in, normally when you put <laughs> terminals and crimpers, uh, you can you you can put the whole thing inside the crimper, and it'll you know crimp along here but you can't crimp this thing it's got to stay <laughs> so you have to ve be very careful to put uh, ha make sure that this is sticking out of the crimper this is impossible to do using the normal method normal method being you you insert the um Trying to see if I've got a small or a, a, a larger one I can demonstrate. I do not. The I do. All right, here we go. So the 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 typical process, even with a, a relatively small terminal like this, is to stick it. Stick it. Oh, let's get a little closer. You want to see that? Stick it in here lock it in place then you take your wire here's a wire you strip it just uh just a little bit like right about there Pow. that's good you strip it you uh you want to twist those wires if you don't twist them uh bad things will happen it's kind of like crossing the streams god twist the wires So you got that, uh, you got your terminal in there inside the, the crimper, you take the wire, you, you, you stick the wire, you point it down at the bottom of the terminal, slide it in till it stops, and then crimp, squeeze, crimp. Now, these terminals are a little uh, bigger. Uh, longer than for this. This is this is a thin, a thin crimper, so I have to crimp these guys twice. But there you go, it's uh perfectly crimped, pretty much. <laughs> um, now if you were to try to do the same thing with this, oh my goodness, this is just so small. Just look at this. Look at the size difference on these guys. So, this is, this is like twice as big. This uh, uh, this won't stay in the crimper the way that you would normally put it in there. And even if you tried uh, the wire, when you tried to slide the wire in there, it's going to push it out. Also, uh, this, this little part here cannot be crimped. You got to crimp just this and this. That's awful. So, 
Let's get the uh, tape off. I typically just bend them back and forth, or you can use your uh, <laughs> blah, your your lop your nippers. <laughs> So this is what I came up with, and it seems to work uh, okay. It's it's not it's not perfect, but I'll show you. What you got to do is this part is normally you got to strip the wire. In this case, because this terminal is so tiny, you want to only strip a little bit, uh, maybe 1.8 millimeters. That's actually from the. Uh, from the spec so we're talking just a little tiny bit there this is the this is the money here this is the, the probably the second most important part is that when you twist them uh I'm, uh, we'll do it I'm, I'm gonna first do it in the fingers like we we all do normally um that is not tight enough you need to twist that tighter so what I found is working pretty well. It's not ideal. I'm going to try to find a tool or I'm going to make a tool to make this or make something you can 3D print that's going to be better than using a pair of tweezers. But you just put the tweezers here, you grab the wire, and you twist it with the tweezers uh, holding it. Which is, um, I, sh I should look at my work here. <laughs> It's not, it's not easy, but it is necessary. There we go. Almost, okay, I messed it up. This is because I'm, I'm uh, trying to do two, two things at once. Okay, there. Now, now it's like crazy tightly, tightly wound. I've never, I've never tried uh, uh, winding it so tightly before, but doing that makes it stay together uh, reliably. It's, it's very handy. So that, that is the first most important and tip or trick, trick. Part of the trick is when you, uh, when you, when you twist the wires, you twist them super tight, and you can use a pair of tweezers to accomplish that. You could probably use. Just about anything that'll pinch the wire. Okay, the second part, because as I, I mentioned, you can't you can't do the normal thing where you set the terminal inside of there. We got to attach the terminal to the wire somehow first. This is what I came up with. Ow! Wow. That is my cat Molly. She can't hear, so she likes to sing the song of her people all the time, day and night. So what we do, I don't know if you can see what I've done here, is that I've got the wire, I've got the wire in the correct position. So the wire is in the uh, inside the wire crimp part, and the insulation is inside the insulation crimp part. And I have this awesome tool here that I got at a hobby shop that is, you don't have to use this, but I'm, I'm just showing you what I'm using. This is a bead crimper. Uh, what is it? It's a micro petite crimper, even. Or mi a micro petite micro. Huh. Um, it's a bead crimper. Uh, you don't need to use this but it just happens to work really well um you could use a pair of those uh needle nose pliers that's what i would recommend uh if you have some around wouldn't recommend using tweezers i've tried that um unless they're flat tweezers which i don't have any on my desk so anyway gonna show you what i do take the wire hold it in one hand and with your other hand Bring this down and squeeze, squeeze the, the, uh, um, whatever these things are called, <laughs> tabs, there we go. Squeeze the tabs that go around the insulation, around the insulation, so that they are sort of 
almost sort of kind of crimped, but don't crimp it. Just, just get them, get them on there so they hold it in place. And now I can let go of it. The terminal will stay on the wire. Take the tool. I believe I have been using the hole with the dot. So, um, <laughs> I, I wrote this note that this is the side that the, the wire uh, goes to. The other side is the terminal side. Um, that is, that is important because that, that the size of these, uh, these things is, is based on the insulation being on this side, this side. So you put it through. Oh, I have to try to do this without. Oh, wow. I didn't do a very good job of, of crimping that. So this may even fail. Ugh. So you have to push it through until the other oh see it already failed that's what i'm talking about this is just a pain in the butt okay um put it put it through uh, so that the part the part in the front there that you are not supposed to crimp is not in line to be crimped then you bring your who not quite right. Push it a little more. There we go. Then you bring your crimper down and crimp. Did I mess it up? No. It is looking just about right. Um, the I don't like the way it's crimping the insulation, but I don't know what to do about it um, because this this terminal. Uh, has a much larger diameter for the insulation than it does for the wire. I'm just sort of uh, relying on the wire crimp being being better. It's possible that using a larger hole might like this. This, this it might 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 have made sense to use this hole, but anyway, I didn't. So. Uh, Oh no, I cleared my, I cleared my space off and I lost my, ah, there it is. So now that we have done that crimp, which that, that was it. Uh, you've now seen the trick that, that is the trick to crimp very small terminals, uh, that are almost impossible to do. It, it's, it seems like a lot of steps, but you do it a few times and it gets it gets to be not taking so long. And then finally, uh, if you were using this particular uh, set of terminals and terminal housings, that that tab that you uh, did not smush, that tab is actually a stop. The other side has the catch, the, the catch. So you want you want the stop to be facing away from the the catches and you insert it and hopefully if everything oh yeah there you go now it's uh latched in place and uh ready to uh be soldered to a circuit board uh there you go uh 13 minutes I would have liked for it to be closer to five, but this will do. So I hope that I, uh, uh, that this helps someone out there. Um, cause I have been struggling <laughs> with these terminals for days. Uh, so there you go. Um, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.